Hi everyone, Caleb here uh, with another Tech Tuesday video for you. Uh, I just recently returned from TCEA um, in their 2020 convention and one of the coolest things I saw while I was there was a uh, site called GimKit um, and that's kind of what I want to show you today. So GimKit, G-I-M-K-I-T, GimKit.com is a uh, game like Quizzes or Kahoot um, where you put questions together, you give answer choices, you and your students um, as, a, uh, as a class when you start the game start answering questions. Um, the thing that makes it different um, than some of the others is the idea that it's not based on points, it's based on money that your kids are making. There's different types of gameplay which I'll go into in a minute, um, but uh, it, it's very similar to quizzes in terms of how it's styled. Uh, the kids are asked random questions, it's not the same question asked to each kid at each time. Um, it's very individualized while they're taking the the, the actual game itself, but <clears throat> I just want to show you how to do a, a sample um, quiz for GimKit and then what it would look like if you were going to start a game. So just to uh, show you guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, log in. Um, it is free to use it. There is a paid version of this, um, but um, the free version works just as well. So I got logged in. I've got kits, assignments, classes, news, um, a whole bunch of things, but I just want to do a new kit right here. Um, you can search for kits that are already pre-made up in the, the top where my mouse is here, but I'm going to hit a new one to make one from scratch. Uh, you need to name it. Just name it test. Language English. Uh, you see all the different languages you can set it in. Um, we're going to do English subject. We'll just leave that the same. Uh, and then I hit next. If I want a cover photo, I definitely can. Um, there are lots of free ones. I'll just choose this random one here. Uh, and now I can either create with flashcards, so I'm going to import some flashcards, or I can add questions, which is what I want to do here is just add a question. Um, what is the capital of... Uh, no, what, what, what question do I want to ask? I don't know. What is 2 plus 2? How about that? So I got a question. Correct answer 4, 3, 5, 0. I can change which one I want the correct answer to be. I can have multiple correct answers if I want just by clicking on them. Um, I can add a photo for my question if I would like. So with the free version, you can have links or unsplash um, upload uh, if you want to put your own photos that you're uploading it does require uh, the pro edition um, but unsplash has some so let's look at math and see what we can search for yeah so I wanted to just put this math picture in or you can add audio uh, audio is great especially if your kids uh, aren't really real readers yet um, audio question can help them um, or if they struggle with readers. So, there is also text input, but we're going to stick with multiple choice for now. So, I've added my question, um, and I'm going to say I'm done for now. So, I hit finish kit. So, here I've got it. If I'm ready to play it, I just hit play. It's going to host up here. I've got a one question. I can either do classic where they compete individually or team mode when they work together in teams. There are different goals. We can have as much money before the time runs out, 10 minutes, a race to equal the first amount of money, or all in. Everyone has to earn as much money as they can, but the game ends when a collective goal is reached. Uh, I like the time one because I can set a time limit and we can see how, many, uh, how much money students can rack up during that time limit. Um, what happens if you set, like I say, a f five minute time limit and I only have one question, it's going to see repeat the same question. If you had ten questions and, um, you know, a five minute quiz, your kids might make it through all ten questions and then receive the same questions again. You can give them starting cash to help out. They can use that cash in order to buy power-ups throughout the game. So you might want to give them some cash to start off with so that they can use their power-ups. Handicap. This allows you to um, make a, a limit on how low 
in terms of money they can get. Answer check, if you want them to be able to see the correct answer after uh, doing it, you can do that. I like to turn this one off so that they can't see. Um, music for your kids, the clapping allows them to you know, kind of give kudos. Join in late if you have some kids who are running behind who want to join in. The shop options, power-ups, and themes that they can buy. And then if you do clean power-ups only, that is power-ups that don't hurt other players. Um, depending on how what the spirit of your class is, you may want to do clean power-ups only. That's a very quick way on how to create a gim kit and then kind of what everything is inside of it. I've already played it with a couple of classes at Bessie Haynes and the kids really loved it. I know it's going to be popular. Um, if you have questions about how to create your own gim kits or would like me to do it with uh, one of your classes if you're in elementary or if you'd like Katie to do it with one of your classes if you're in the middle school or high school, please reach out to us. We'd be glad to show you how this works and help you come up with some questions to ask your kids. Um, otherwise, um, if you have topics on other videos, we greatly appreciate when you guys reach out and give them to us. It, it always helps us to know that um, you're interested in what we're putting out. Uh, that being said, I hope you have a great rest of whatever day it is when you watch this video, and thank you very much.